The fourth race on the programme is a maiden plate for fillies and mares. They're going to race over the mile, 1,600 metres. It's at 10 past two, and it fires off the first leg of the first jackpot. At this point in time, 12 runners go to post. Graham, here's a race where there is a bit of form to work with. Some lightly raced horses, some horses that are going to improve even more. The likes of Four Sparkling Flame ran a very good race last time behind Green Grow the Lilacs, but Golden Grove was quite a way in front of Sparkling Flame. She finished second, has been priced up as the early anti-post favourite and probably the one they all have to beat, but there are others in with chances. Yeah, the principles, you know, number four, Sparkling Flame, good last run at Hollywood Bet Scottsville, only a couple of lengths behind Golden Grove, starting to find her feet. They revert to the poly track. She's had one run on the poly track before, which was a debut effort, where she finished behind Air Buzz. Now, in that race, number five, Red Rising, was in front of her. Red Rising steps up from 1,000 metres to 1,600 metres. Nice to see Dennis Dreyer back in the winner's enclosure on Gold Cup Day with Pray for Rain. Red Rising could really appreciate the step up in trip. Number six, Golden Grove. My first choice. Healthy respect for number seven, Corda Beza. Also in the Green Grove, the Lilacs form line. Just a little way behind six, Golden Grove. But Corda Beza is much more exposed than number six, Golden Grove. Then you've got number two, from the Duncan Hell stable, Ikem Bula Besifazani only had the one run behind Sasha away, possibly might just need another. So I think the four principal runners are Sparkling Flame, Red Rising, Golden Grove, and Corda Beza, numbers four, five, six, and seven. Three Bally Good could cause an upset, not beyond the realms of possibility. Okay, that's uh, the four runners that Graham believes is, is a must, and, and I agree with him again. Expecting improvement as well from the Duncan Howells runner, Hollywood Syndicate's horse number two, Keegan Demela, your pilot from a neat draw. I know that Duncan was a little disappointed with her debut performance. She's way better than that, and you can expect a hell of a lot more come Wednesday. But as Graham says, might need one more just to tighten up. So for me, I'm in Graham's camp again. The principals look to be the ones that are going to fight it out here.